When the AV Club travels, we always make time to visit pop culture landmarks. If something memorable happened in the world of film, TV, books, or music, we want to go there. We're not just tourists, we're pop pilgrims. A huge part of The Wire's gritty urgency came from its street-level portrayal of Baltimore, Maryland, a.k.a. Bodymore Murderland, which show creator David Simon knew well, having worked as a journalist there for years. Almost everything in The Wire was filmed on location, and over the next two episodes of Pop Pilgrims, we're going to be visiting a bunch of those spots. We're here with Eric Bannett, location scout for The Wire, talking about some of the pop pilgrimages from The Wire. Am I wrong that almost every exterior was shot on location here in Baltimore. I think 100% every exterior was shot on location. Every exterior was shot in Baltimore. Yes. That's so rare. I think we had 10 filming days an episode and, and you'd have so many locations that you didn't have time to move everybody around with all the trucks. So you would, you would try to consolidate lots of different locations into a small area so you wouldn't have to, to move around a lot. But also you're shooting in a real active neighborhood. Did you ever encounter problems, noise, or people, or? We had a situation, I think it was on season three, where one of the residents had, had their pit bull out in the backyard that just kept barking and barking and barking, and somebody agreed to give the person $20 to take their dog inside for the rest of our shoot. And then the next time we came back here, people had borrowed friends and neighbors and relatives' dogs, so the, the place was literally crawling with 15 dogs in various backyards with everybody yeah. wanting to get hush money. puppy money. Hush puppy money, yeah. Where are we right now? Uh, this is Marlowe's hideout from uh, seasons three, four, and five of The Wire. Uh, this is kind of where he would hold court. So what is this, what did this area used to be, or what is it? Well, it's a skate park, and kids skate and do tricks in this bowl thing and all along here. And, and why was this picked for, uh, for the hideout? It was kind of a combination of it being secluded from the street, but also vantage points for people to be kind of looking at them as they were doing their business here. Omar, uh, from up there, would spy on them as well. Business as usual. So that church roof is where they rose up there with the telephoto lens spying, and we're going to try to get up there. Hey there. Hey, is Pastor Willoughby here? I don't fall off. I'm not going to fall off. <laughs> no guarantees. This was kind of the view, the police surveillance view of, of Marlowe's hideout. And you were here when they were actually shooting? You were the guy opening up the gym at 5 o'clock in the morning when our, when our schedule changed to let us all in. VIP. Where are we? This is the site of uh, Cuddy's boxing gym, the dog fighting scenes. I think we shot a few uh, Omar hideouts. So this was the gym? This was the gym room. So as you can see the boxing um, folks on the wall. And you guys painted all that? We, we put up the... We painted all this. Um, and then I believe this room was the dog fight room. Wow. So, so I mean, as you can see, it's a, it's a really kind of cool looking old desolate warehouse that we pretty much had access to whenever we wanted, which made it like kind of an ideal yeah. location for filming. <laughs> These are actors and tape marks. We got one over here. Yeah, there was a, there was a crap, there was some sort of group scene. Bam, take them out. By and large, all the residents in Baltimore and in the neighborhoods we filmed in were, were very accommodating and, and very supportive of the show, which was, which was nice and made, awesome. made things a lot easier.